Hello y'all and welcome to my new channel called The Crochet Nerd and this is going to be a channel with videos to help you learn to crochet all kinds of different things mostly nerdy type stuff that's hard to find or figure out how to do um, my entire family is full of nerds and for our first project I'm going to be doing a Minecraft series based on the fact that my kids wanted Minecraft themed hats and gloves and things like that. And today's version is going to be the Minecraft skeleton. And this is the original hat I did for my son who uh, likes his hats a little bit shorter so it cuts off smaller than it should be. And to do these you're going to need to know basic crochet and how to crochet in the round, basically how to make a beanie. Um, all the crochet patterns I've found for the Minecraft type things, these eyes, nose, and mouth are crocheted separately and then sewn onto the hat, and that's not what I wanted for him. Um, and with this particular piece, I used a tapestry type crochet, and if you look really close, you can see where I've carried this dark yarn under the white. Today, when I do my new version of this hat, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be cutting the yarn and weaving the ends in. If you hate to weave in ends, like most of us do, then you may not want to do that. You may want to just carry your yarn over, and I will show you how to do that. So, to get started, what we're going to need is a crochet hook. I am using a 5 millimeter hook. And I'm using a bait, so I'm going to try this out with the yarn, which is a Caron Simply Soft. The only bad thing I have to say about this yarn is that it does split rather easily. Um, other than that, I love it. It's soft. It wears well. That hat I showed you guys is about a year old. Uh, and it's worn really well. Uh, we will be using white and heather gray and then just some black and it's all the Caron Simply Soft. Now I have made up some bobbins just on clothes pins for our eyes, nose, and mouth um, and some white because we're going to need white in the middle of the eyes. Uh, you're also going to need some yarn needles to weave in ends and some stitch markers. You don't necessarily have to have an official stitch marker. You can use bobby pins or safety pins or even paper clips if you have to. Um, and to begin, I've already started the beanie and I will link in the description the pattern I use for all the basic double crochet beanies that I do. However, the pattern calls for Red Heart Super Saver and a 5.5 hook. I'm using Caron Simply Soft in a size 5 hook. So I'm doing a child size, but I went up to the teen size because of the hook and yarn difference in the size. So basically, we have 8 rounds before we start the face. And what you do is you crochet 10 double crochet into a ring and then you increase in round two you put one double crochet in each stitch around that gives you 20 stitches <laughs> in round three you're going to do two double crochet in every other stitch and that will give you 30 double crochet in that round in round four you're going to be doing two double crochet and then one double crochet in the next two stitches. So you'll have two double crochet in one and then you'll have two stitches and then two double crochet and that will give you 40 double crochet all the way around. When you go to round five you'll be doing two double crochet in one stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches and then two double crochet in the stitch and then again 
one double crochet in the next three stitches. And that should give you, sorry, I have to double check it. I've got it written out here. Um, Fifty double crochet. Can't even read my own handwriting. And then when you get to round six, you will have two double crochet and one stitch. And then you will have one double crochet for the next four stitches. And then two double crochet. Now at this point, for this particular size, I did teen size on the pattern, which equals out to about a child size. I stopped increasing. So, wherever your increase round stop for whatever size hat you're making, you need to do two rounds of one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So, there are eight rounds in total. I did six increase rounds and then two regular rounds of one double crochet in each stitch. And at that point, it's time to stop and we're going to be marking our stitches it doesn't have to be precise. You just need a midpoint in the front of your hat. I know I have 60 stitches, so you can count 30 stitches around to get to the middle for my particular hat. You just need to be at the middle. Here's the back of your hat, and you need a midpoint, which would be right about here for me. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not counting. It doesn't have to be perfect. And in the middle of this, we want seven stitches. I've marked my midpoint, and now I need seven stitches on either side. So, or, <clears throat> excuse me, I need seven stitches in total. So, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, scrap that part. Here's the midpoint, and we want to count out four stitches from the marker. So, we have the marker is one, two, three, four stitches. We're going to mark that. And then on the other side of this marker, we're going to need three stitches to make it a total of seven. So one, two, three. And I did not count the marker there. So when we're done with that, we should have seven stitches in total from that midway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically what you're doing is you're marking seven stitches in the middle front of the hat. Now we're going to count over from this stitch six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this will be where your eye begins on this marker and your eye will end right here on the stitch before this one. Do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have successfully marked out skeleton eyes for a Minecraft skeleton. Now what we're going to need to do is simply just double crochet around to the stitch right here before our mark. So. I've already chained up two here, and I'm going to double crochet around. Until I get to the stitch before that mark. Okay, we've came to our last stitch before our marker, where we're going to start our eyes. So we're going to go in and start our double crochet as normal but stop with two loops on the hook. And I'm going to go ahead and take that marker out. And we're going to take one of our black bobbins, or you can have a black skinny yarn, however you need to do it. Let's pull up a loop here. Give us a little bit of a tail so we can weave it in later. And just pull through and complete that double crochet in black. Now, if you don't want ends to weave in, if you want to just carry your white yarn all the way around, then what you would do is lay this part of the what was the working yarn in white on top of your stitches and then just crochet over that in black. 
so you would just go in like this and carry it over. That is not how I am going to do this particular hat. I am going to cut the yarn, which I've already done, and pull that tail down like this, and then just continue crocheting for six stitches in the black. There's one. And now I'm catching just a little of my tail there, just to tie it down so my work's not loose. It's two. And actually, I need a bit of a longer tail there, but we'll figure that out later. Three. Four. Five. And see, now we've come to stitch number six. Now we need to change back to white, and I have a white bobbin ready. So I'm going to begin my double crochet in black and stop with two loops on the hook and pull that black yarn down a bit. Pull up a loop in white and finish the double crochet off in white. Now, I can take out this stitch marker and continue to crochet in white. You can give that black a tug to snug down your stitches. And we're doing seven white stitches. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, and we're at our marker again. This will be seven. So let's pop that out. <laughs> And begin the seventh double crochet, but stop again with two loops on the hook, that tug, and switch back to black. Another black bobbin. And complete that double crochet in the black. It gives you a more seamless, you're not having to slip stitch in or, or any big huge knots or anything like that. In your work. Now we'll wrap. We're going to do six black stitches again. So here's one, two, three. Four, five, and we're coming again to the sixth stitch. We'll take our marker out and begin our double crochet in black. But again, stop with two loops on the hook because we're switching back to white. And for this, I'm just using my ball of yarn. <clears throat> Get another loop. Finish off that double crochet in white. Give your tails just a little tug. And now what we do is we just continue to double crochet all the way around in the white until we get back to the point where we 
started our black stitches earlier. The next round will be an exact repeat of this one. So, we'll double crochet around to the end or the back of our project, slip stitch and start the next round. And I will meet you around at my slip stitch. Okay, we're back around. I've finished out that row we were working on in the white. And we are going to slip stitch to the top of our first double crochet right here. Just like that. And we're going to chain up two. And then we are going to, once again, exactly like the last round, double crochet all the way around to right here where we will change to black again and do six black, seven white, six black. So let's double crochet around to our black stitches and meet up at that point. Okay, we are back around to our black stitches. We have one white stitch left before our black stitches begin. And I did not mark the stitches this time because your pattern is marked for you by the colors you're using. Now, again, what we do is we begin our last white double crochet, but stop with two loops on the hook and switch to black. And how we're going to do that is we're going to find our black yarn and I will be carrying this bobbin back over. So, I'm going to take me a stitch marker and just hook that to that last black stitch like that. Pull it over and we will complete our last white double crochet here in the black. Now that's really loose and we're going to tighten it down a bit just like that. Make sure the black has enough give in it that you can crochet over that black yarn but at the same time you don't want it mega loose. Now if you are carrying your white yarn around you would lay this in with the black. The problem with that is, unless you do it really carefully, which I don't have the patience for, it can show through your stitches. So I'm just going to snip my white yarn, leave me a nice long tail to where I can weave that in later, and continue double crocheting in the black. So we need to go into this first black stitch, catch the yarn we're covering, and continue crocheting over. When you cover your yarn with your stitches, you'll notice if you're using the same color and not carrying one color under the other, you can't tell it's there. If you're using a different color yarn, especially a stark contrast yarn, like a black and a white, or say you have a bright yellow and a black, I've, I've had that instance before, then those carryovers do show up underneath your stitches. But again, we're just doing six bike stitches. And then we'll switch back to the white again. It's five, and here's six. I'm leaving the marker in. I just want to be sure I catch that little bit of black yarn which you probably can't even see, and cover it under the stitch. We're going to stop with two loops on our hook again. We're going to drop down that black. Kind of hold it just a little. And we're going to have to pick up the white again, which is on the bobbin. Again, I'm just going to take my stitch marker and hook this yarn up to that last white stitch and pull it over. That just keeps the yarn so that you can get a good tension on it. 
and we are going to excuse me just finish off our last black double crochet in white now we're going to give just a little bit of play there tighten down that black stitch and my stitch marker fell out because I didn't have it hooked and you can see how that would make you yarn an issue because if you if you got it too tight it's gonna bunch up if you've got it too loose you're gonna have big gapping pieces of yarn hanging out you don't want either of those things we want it seamless so that nobody knows it's there and we're just gonna double crochet our seven across here one in white two three four five six maybe six and this is seven and again we're gonna have to switch to black make sure you catch that last bit of yarn and cover and your white crochet make sure you stop with two white loops on your hook drop that down and pull up your black yarn just fasten it to that last black stitch in the round there and we're going to complete this white double crochet in the black yarn and this is how you get your yarn from one end to the other without making a huge tangled up mess out of it which kinda looks like a huge tangled up mess at the moment but it turns out really well um, we're gonna do our first black double crochet and we are doing six of them it's one two making sure that we're covering up the yarn we're carrying back over here so that we can get from here to there in black there's three four Five. and on number six again make sure we catch that last little bit of yarn to cover up pull it up and stop with two loops on the hook we can take that marker out now and we need our white yarn back make a little loop and finish that double crochet and tug your black down and throw all that over out of your way which now I do have a tangled up mess trust me when I say this though bobbins are easier to wiggle around out of the way than skeins of yarn are it could get really bad. Now I'm going to tuck my white tail down just the first couple of stitches. So, one, two, let's do three, three, and then I'll just let that tail drop down to be woven in later and we are again going to continue all the way around to our end point just one double crochet in the white all the way around till we get to where we slip stitch and we will meet back up then 
Okay, we are back to our last stitch. It's right here. I'm going to make one more double crochet here. And we are going to slip stitch to this top of our first one. Chain up two. Tuck that out. Now, we are done with the eyes. It's just two rounds of the black for the eyes. So, what I'm going to do is snip off. Leave me a nice long tail on each bobbin. And you could weave these in now if you wanted to. Or you could weave them in later. Completely up to you. I will go ahead and weave a couple of them in just so you can see. And I don't have any more of the little plastic yarn needles that come in the kits and that you can get for like 50 cents or whatever at a craft store. Because my kids keep running away with them. But I do have a big metal one that I bought and guarded. It's not sharp. Like a regular needle. Just thread that through. And we can see where our stitch is coming out. And <clears throat> we want to just go in under. And this is going to be somewhat difficult to see because it is black. And just tug that through. Skip over a little bit of that stitch and go the other way. And then just one more time. And I learned this from the Crochet Crowd with Mikey. If you take anything you're weaving in and you weave it in three different directions, no matter how this pulls and tugs or is stretched, it's not going to come out. You don't have to worry about tying a bunch of knots because once you've woven it in three separate ways, there's no way, and I think I actually wove that one in four separate ways. So, just slide up under these stitches with this one, and then go up under this set. Just like this. See, I've tugged that a little too tight. You don't want it real tight. And we'll go one more this way. And then that can be just snipped off. Just woven in. It's gone. Let's do the white. You might be able to see that a bit better. Here's where our stitch comes up. And we want to go right in between these little stitches. We're just hiding it in. Just once. And then let's go <clears throat> twist it around. Better view along the top part of that. And then let's go up this double crochet there. And then we can slide it down this row. And it's hidden in in your stitches. Nobody but you is ever gonna know it's there. It's not going to pull out. And I'll weave the rest of those in at a later date. That one's going to be tricky. I may use it crochet hook for it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the nose. And you can mark these stitches if you want to, but it's not really necessary. Um, because the colors we've already used have set our pattern for us. Our nose is going to go two rows of gray right here, 
and then our mouth will be one big long row of black here and here with white as the rest of the stitches. So what we're going to do, let me wind up that white bobbin and move it, and the black, is we are going to crochet around in the white all the way to the last black stitch of our first eye. So this one right here, we're going to change colors on that. So I will meet you up when I, or meet up with you when I get to this stitch right here. We're just going to double crochet in the white all the way around to there. We are back around <clears throat> to our last black stitch in our skeleton eye and we are going to now use the gray heather which I have put this on a bobbin. Um, so again we're going to begin this is our last white crochet stitch. We're going to begin it just like so. Tuck that down. Give yourself a bit of a tail and finish that white double crochet off in the gray. Tug your white down a little more. Find your working yarn and once again I am going to tuck my tail under for the first few stitches. Just ties it down to the work a little so your stitches aren't too loose in the beginning. And we're going to do seven gray stitches. That's three, four, five, going to begin number seven and stop with two loops on the hook. We're going to need our white. Again, I'm just going to snip a nice long tail here. Weave that in later. Tuck her gray down. Finish that off in white. And then we're going to double crochet all the way back around in the white. Sorry guys, I'm trying to make sure I'm not migrating off the camera in the process. I have to say... I've got a wonderful husband who knows how to edit videos and make them look good. So most everything you guys see will be him doing the hard work. All I'm doing is sitting here crocheting. Let me get one more stitch and I will show you the beginning of our nose pattern. If you look right here. We're going to do one more round exactly like this one. Um, and these seven gray stitches in the middle will be our skeleton nose. We're going to crochet all the way back around and we will meet up at our slip stitch. Okay folks, we're back around. I have just crocheted in white all the way around to the end of the round. And we are going to slip stitch to the top of this white double crochet. Maybe. And chain up two. And again, we're going to repeat the other round exactly. The last round exactly. Excuse me. Um, so we're going to double crochet in the white all the way back around to the gray. Switch over for the exact same number of stitches.
uh, these hats, I have actually made some other ones. Uh, you could use them as Halloween costumes, gifts for kids that love Minecraft. Uh, they're really awesome. Actually, one of the skeleton hats I made, not for the one I made here for my son, but I made as a birthday gift, uh, was used as a Halloween costume that year, and it worked out pretty good. He had a little bow and arrow to go with it. I don't know, you know, if you have kids that are nerds or geeks like mine are, then they tend to, apparently Minecraft is like Zelda and Mario were for my kids, or for when I was a kid, because that, that was the games that we played as kids, it was Zelda, Mario, Donkey Kong, Mortal Kombat, that kind of thing, or the video games we played. And now my kids, it's Minecraft and Terraria and well, I do have one kid who goes old school and freaks out over Mario. Okay, we are back around here to the stitch before our gray begins. And we're going to start that white double crochet and stop with two loops on our hook. Go ahead and pull our gray yarn up and just anchor it down to this last gray stitch. You don't actually have to do this, but it does help control your tension so it's not too tight and it's not mega loose. Now I've gone ahead and cut the white yarn there. Again, you could carry this under the stitches if you wanted to. It would show up though because of the contrasting colors in the white and the gray. Um, and we're just going to continue. Tug your tail down a little. Go in our first gray stitch here. Again, seven gray stitches across here. Two. Three. Four. And seven. Stop with two loops on the hook there on the seventh stitch. Grab your white yarn. Pull that loop through. Finish off that last gray double crochet in the white. And just Tuck your white tail under for a couple of stitches and you can weave it in later. And again, we're going to crochet around. I'm going to go ahead and cut that gray tail. Crochet around to our slip stitch and we will meet up then. Okay, we're back around to the beginning here. Again, just gonna make our slip stitch, chain two, and if you look at your hat, minus our yarn tails, you can see our skeleton's eyes and nose shining through here. Now, next step on the next round, what we're going to do is we're going to start crocheting at where our eyes began again. So it'll be six stitches from our first gray stitch in the black. I'm just going to mark that one uh, to make sure I get the right because it's, eh, you could eyeball that, but just to make sure I've got it right. So let's crochet around to that stitch marker. Go 
Okay. We are back around to where we're going to start our black yarn. And I believe I'm going to just try this bobbin. And I have enough yarn. If it doesn't, I have another one. So, again, begin your double crochet in white. Stop. Let's go ahead and snip that off. Two loops left on the hook. Finish that off in the black. Gives you a seamless finish. Take that stitch marker out now. Give her a white tail there too. And you can crochet a couple of stitches over the black. And we are going to crochet this all the way over till it goes all the way over even with this last eye black stitch in the eye. So this one, two, three, four, five, six. So we will be stopping our black stitches right here at this marker. You can mark that if it's easier for you that way. Okay, we're at the last black stitch we'll need. We've marked that. Do your partial double crochet. Pull through your first two loops. Stop with two loops on the hook. And just finish that double crochet off in the white yarn. Now, now we're mixed round. When we get to that, will be the exact same thing, and our face will be completed on our skeleton. So, Meet back up again at our slip stitch. Okay, we're back all the way around to our slip stitch. Or where we need to slip stitch. And we're just going to go into the top of our first double crochet here. The slip stitch. Chain two. And we're going to repeat the last round exactly. As we did before. I'm going to go ahead and take my black yarn. Hook it up here to that last black stitch so I can carry that across. And we'll crochet in white all the way around. Change our colors again and crochet that in black once again. Okay, we're to our last white stitch. Again, our white double crochet. Stop with two loops on the hook. Go ahead and cut that white yarn. Tug our black on over here. Maybe. And finish that white double crochet off in the black. Make sure you've got yourself loose enough that you can. Double crochet over this. 
going to that first black stitch to make sure you cover that strand of yarn going back across but just basically repeat your pattern all the way over here and I am holding the black yarn up so that I make sure I get it I'm going to tie that down to the hat and because it's the same color as the stitches that it's going in between it's not showing up under your stitches which was the issue I had with my other hat I did I didn't like how that turned out We're to our last black stitch. Go into that again. Make sure you cover your black yarn from before. Stop with two loops on the hook. Go ahead and trim that in. Pick up your white yarn. Finish that black double crochet off in the white. First white stitch, we'll tie that down. And then your skeleton face is finished. Now, basically, I'm going to do another round of white and then perhaps a single crochet stitch round in the black for a border. But your hat is basically the same size. Now this one I just did one round or two rounds of single crochet at the bottom for my son. This time I'm going to do one round of white double crochet and a black border. As you can see your skeleton face is finished. All that's left is finishing off one more round tops and maybe a border if you want it and weaving your ends in. I'd like to thank you guys for coming and nerding out a little with me and we will catch you in the next video if this was helpful please subscribe leave a like um, next go round we're going to make some crochet minecraft skeleton fingerless gloves thank you